Hey everyone, this is Tim with the Word of Life Church and welcome to another edition of 10 Minute Scriptures. Hope everyone is saved and walking in the will of God. Amen. I apologize for my voice <clears throat> that's a little bit scratchy. Weather change, you know, getting colder and uh, that's all I can think of <laughs> that it could be uh, or voice strain, who knows. Uh, but, you know, God's will is still going to, you know, take first precedence amen uh the word comes first amen right uh so today let's uh let's go over to the book of matthew chapter 9 and let's drop down to verse let's drop down to verse 9 that's what we felt led to go and this is something that we all need to work on really and think about more in our daily lives and our daily walk and when we're out amongst people and in the world and everything and I don't I don't say that in a elitist point of view that we're above everybody in the world no we, we if we're out in the world with other people we have to consider ourselves as well as before we come to the knowledge of the truth is what I'm getting at because we want to help others to get others to that knowledge of the saving grace and truth of the salvation given to us and afforded to us by the propitiatory death of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Hope I said that word right. <laughs> Sometimes you know the, uh, the the doesn't make the right connections up here. <laughs> so praise God. But the the, the substitutionary death, uh, propitiatory, maybe uh, whatever <laughs> substitutionary death. That's that's maybe the word I was looking looking for. Uh, Sometimes the wires just don't connect right, do they? <laughs> praise God. Matthew, <clears throat> excuse me, <clears throat> Matthew nine and. Uh, Verse nine, and it says, "It says, and as Jesus passed forth from thence, he just had a tussle with uh, some Pharisees about some things he was doing about forgiving a man and healing a man from the palsy, and of course the Pharisees, you know, devil's right there always when you're doing the work of God to try to slander you and try to, you know." Uh, make slight of you and uh, try to put you on the spot and try to discredit you and try to drag you down, right? Always. But you know what? We've got power over him. Today is the 31st of Halloween, right? Doesn't matter. We've got power over him. Amen. And I hope Christian warriors have been praying against the things going on out there this evening and today and all up to it, leading up to it. But he said he's Jesus passed forth and then he, he saw a man named Matthew, uh, who's also known as Levi. He said, sitting at the receipt of custom, he was a tax collector, amen? One of the more hated people <laughs> of the day. Uh, but uh, isn't that kind of the thought today? <laughs> Around the tax time, the season, we have our government tax collectors. He said, he saith unto him, follow me. And he arose and followed him. Wow. Just like that, right? I mean, he doesn't say it took any real convincing, right? He just said, follow me. And he arose and followed him. I think maybe Matthew had a quick conversion. It seems like maybe something pretty quick. Doesn't say any otherwise, you know, any other way about it. He just said he arose and followed him. Praise God, that should be the faith that we have when the Lord says, do this, go do that. We should... Get up, arise, go do it by faith. Amen. It says that it came to pass as Jesus sat at meat in the house. I also often wondered what house. Now you see some of these movies they put out. Uh, one in particular that I enjoy. It was made, I think, in the late 70s. And it's a, it's a, it's a long movie. It was like a three-hour long movie. But it was a good movie. Ended up, the house they were talking about actually ended up being the house where Matthew lived and Jesus came into his house 
Now, whether that's correct or not, we'll never know. You know, I don't know, unless historically it says that somewhere. Matters not. You know, hey, went into house. What matters is, is what's coming up right here. It says, behold, it says many publicans and sinners came and sat down with him and his disciples. Oh, boy. <laughs> you know what's coming. You know that's going to ruffle some feathers, right? Oh, boy. You know, some. You know, once again, the enemy is going to Try to stir something up. That's oh, this has never been seen before. You know, oh, we're supposed to, we're supposed to separate. We're supposed to not, not, not get near these people. You know, the we're supposed to separate ourselves from all these, all these nasty people. You know, you know, you, what did I say that we're, we're 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 supposed to separate ourselves from the sin. Amen. Not supposed to love the sin. That the people, that our family member might commit, or that our friends and people that we know and coworkers might commit, we're supposed to separate ourselves from the acts and sin that they might be doing, but not love that, but to love them enough to tell them the truth of the Word of God. Amen. That sin's going to kill them. Well, you mean actually kill them? In some cases, yeah, possibly, but definitely, most assuredly, spiritually, amen? And send them to the lake of fire, which is the eventual end of all things sinful and evil and will eventually be the total, absolute separation from God and all that is good. It's in verse 11, when the Pharisees saw it, of course, the Pharisees are at it again. It says, they said unto his disciples, why eateth your master with publicans and sinners? Because see, they were, <laughs> they, you know, old, nice and, you know, nice and pretty and, you know, wearing all their priestly robes and everything. And, you know, they, you know, we're, hey, we're supposed to separate from these people. But Jesus came to bridge that gap. came to pull that together. This is what he said. He said, but when Jesus heard that, he said unto him, or unto them, excuse me, they that be whole need not a physician, but they that are sick. Amen. See, maybe even the Pharisees were going on by just the traditions that they had learned. Not defending them or in any way, but it, it, they they going on the traditions. Maybe they were learned. Maybe they, that that's what they were taught that they were supposed to stay away from that. But Jesus became that the soul might be saved. That person might be saved because you know this is going to be. This is going back to dust. It's the soul of the person. The sin can get out. That way the soul might be saved. Amen. That we might go through the rest of the remainder of our days walking through and in the Spirit of God that we might be saved in the end that we can make heaven our home. Amen. He said in verse 13, But go ye and learn what that meaneth. He said, I will have mercy and, and not sacrifice. God was filled up with the sacrifice. Sacrifice. This was getting ready to become a new covenant, the covenant of grace. Amen. He said, For I am not come to call the righteous, but sinners to repentance. Hey, if you're righteous, <laughs> why, why do you need repentance? Amen. If we were righteous and we could take care of our own selves and our own salvation and make it to heaven ourselves, then we wouldn't have needed the Lord Jesus. God wouldn't need to have sent the Lord Jesus down to die such a horrible, painful, excruciating, and just all around horrible death for us. But no, he had to do that because we could not do it ourselves. We could not remove our sin. We still cannot remove our sin. It takes the mercy and grace and power of the only begotten Son of God and his death on Calvary 
to remove those sins. Amen. If you've not called on the Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, call on him today. All that call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Amen. Praise God. Call on him today, and he will save you. If you backslidden on the Lord, come back to him before it's everlasting too late. Amen. This was Tim with the Word of Life Church with another edition of 10 Minute Scriptures, and we will see you in the next edition. God bless y'all and blessings in Christ Jesus on all of you. And we will see you next time. Bye now.